Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going back into Variant 8. We're on Chapter 2, Quest Number 2. So the last quest of Chapter 2. Now, if you've been following the other videos, you know that um, they keep to a certain pattern. Okay, you need to have mercenaries or else you're going to be doing 95% less damage. Not a fun time. You could do it with a non-mercenary, but you don't want to do that. If you don't have a proper mercenary, wait. This is permanent content. No need to rush it. Now, the first fight is usually one that's going to give you a cross-fight ability. And they have several there. So read the node and see what cross-fight ability you're going to get. Some of them are great and useful. Some of them I found not very useful at all, okay? Um, and I pretty much ignored them. As for the path that you want to take, really all of the paths are pretty easy. What you want to do is, depending on the team that you're going in with and your own skill level, choose a path that has a node that's not too bad and has defenders that you can deal with. Uh, I think in the last one, I told you about a path that had Langer and I didn't read it. And oh my goodness, that was not fun because I didn't know. And so bam, I lost a uh, hit monkey right away because I went down to zero power. Um, and I think I lost somebody else. And I was just like, you know what? Let me just restart this and choose a different path that's a little bit easier. Uh, so just look at the nodes. See how easy that fight was? They're very straightforward. If you know how to fight the defenders, you shouldn't have any problem. Hit Monkey, definitely MVP. Domino, definitely MVP, especially with the Massacre and Red Hulk synergy. Uh, if you have those, and you don't even have to use, you notice I'm not using Red Hulk. Uh, but I think this might be one of the first times uh, that I'm using Masakri on the path. And my idea was that I know I'm going to ignite the bat very quickly because of the auto block that Modok does. So as you can see, I'm doing this. Now, my Masakri is only a five star, but this content is really made for five stars. So. You know, if all you have are five stars, you're perfectly fine. Uh, I would tell you to use your highest ranked. Um, that will save you items and it'll make it go a lot smoother. Uh, so if you have a six star Masakri, definitely use him. Um, Domino, honestly, if you have the, the uh, synergy partners with her, the five star or the six star or the seven star are perfectly fine. Use the highest one that you have. Doesn't even matter whether she is awakened or not. Um, and that just goes for the entire quest. You know, all of them, all of uh, variant uh, that applies to. All right. Now, I was at first a little worried about this Terax because usually I fight Terax with uh, Claire. So I said, let me let me see how Domino does against this one. So first, I want to let that run out, just so I'm not dealing with his rock field. All right, and of course, it gets me in the corner, which I hate. But then look at this. Look at that. Boom, boom. That's two heavies. Count them. Two heavies. Boom, boom. Three heavies, and he's done. Now that's a seven-star Domino. She's not even awakened promise you six star can do the exact same thing might take her another heavy or two five stars same thing might take another heavy or two that's all okay so if you do not have domino or you don't have this trinity i would recommend that you wait i would recommend you wait there are other mer uh, mercenaries that you can use uh but i think personally you're gonna have the easiest time with the team that I have gone in here with. 
they just they just rock okay um now i want you to notice something he is bleed immune but you'll notice that he's getting poisons on him how hit monkey doesn't put poison he puts bleed that's that cross fight ability i was telling you about so because i used hit monkey on that first fight um i forget what it was called i think it's bad breath i think it's called uh, where all of your attacks have a chance to put poison. So that was perfect for him. You know, as you can see, Domino did not really need any extra poison, but Hitmonkey benefited from it. Now, not all of the cross fights are useful like that. But as you can see now, I'm doing both bleed and poison damage thanks to that... Um, crossfight. Look how fast that went. Now, granted, my hit monkey is rank four, and this content, uh, six star rank four, and this content is really aimed at five stars. Uh, and if you do bring a five star in here to use, like a five star hit monkey, um, or a five star domino, or a five star masaki, definitely take them to rank five. You'll you'll be glad you did. You'll be much happier. Now, as far as non-mercenaries um, go, I don't know of any that I would really recommend over just bringing in the mercenaries. You know, just if you don't have the proper mercenaries, just wait. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be fighting Old Man Logan. So I'm looking over all of this. That vigorous assault is very annoying because I'm like, okay, he's going to be healing which means he might be unblockable for the entire fight. And that's not going to be fine. All right? So I'm like, oh, there he is. Already unblockable. And I'm like, ugh, I hate this. So I start intercepting, you know, because now I'm mad. I'm like, yeah, that node, that ain't right. So I'm just intercepting now. I'm just like, yeah, now we're going to bait out his uh, specials. And then I look and I'm like, okay, wait, he wasn't uh, unblockable. And I'm like, okay, that's because he um, loses the unblockable uh, when he fires off a, a special. Uh, that's what it seems like to me. So I'm just like, okay, don't want to get hit a lot into your block because that's how they're getting all that power gain and stuff like that. And then look at that. See, he went, he got his regen. And then he went unblockable. Then he did his special and he lost the unblockable. And so that's when I decided to go ahead and hit him with the Razzle Dazzle. With that Domino. Okay, so there you go. See, I was able to block that one because he wasn't unblockable. Now he's dangerously close. I don't want to get hit. All right, here we go. So we go back in. And I decided to go ahead and use that. Why? I don't know. Just get that extended uh, combo. And I'm pretty much baiting out those specials. I'm not relying on the uh, um, parry because, as you see, he's unblockable. So I had to do a nice little uh, uh, intercept. Boom, boom. Hit him with the critical bleed, but it didn't really help against him. Um, very annoying. Very annoying. But we're doing it. We're getting there. We're getting there. You know, he got her good in the beginning. Caught me sleeping. But that's okay. We getting him because we mad. Yeah, we upset that he got us uh, like that in the beginning. So we're like, at this point, I'm like, yeah, I want to I wanna take him down with Domino. Another extender. And then, bam, done. So not a bad fight, but can be a little tricky. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Good luck on your own run. Uh, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out. And you all have a blessed day.